and a shout of a big hallelujah. The Bible says, For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with the voice of an archangel and with the trump of God. And the Bible says, This is the good news. The dead in Christ will be snatched up. Those who are alive in Jesus will be snatched up. As you're walking around today, my question to you is, are you in Christ? There's one thing, being in religion is another thing to be in Christ. Paul said in the scriptures, 2 Corinthians 5.17, except a man be in Christ, he cannot be a new creation. Our new creation reality is tied to being in Christ. It's in Christ we find our identity in the kingdom. It's the identity of those who are citizens of the kingdom of God. And therefore, I come preaching the message of repentance. Today, 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 Trafalgar Square, we sound the alarm of his coming and the sound of repentance saying, repent, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Do not be afraid when you hear when men are saying repent. It's a gift from God to turn you away from your sins and give you the grace to pursue Jesus, the Christ. When you pursue the Christ, you've completed the assignment of repentance. Today in London, many of us are observing religion. We are observing all kinds of men's ideology and philosophy. But we come not with the philosophies of this world, but we come with a message that is straight out of heaven, straight out of the throne room of heaven. The place where God said, for he so loved the world that he sent his son from the throne. The son left the throne and came on the earth. That me and you, and you, and you will receive eternal life. There is no other way except eternal life. You can have a religious life, but you must have eternal life. Many have a religious life and that ends in the grave. But when you have eternal life, in Christ, you have eternal place in heaven with God. When you have a religious life at the expense of Jesus, you will find yourself lap dancing with the devil with national teeth, burning or rolling in the lake of fire, crying for a drop of water, wishing you had received the good news of Jesus. The good news is that yet whilst you were in your sin, wallowing and swimming in sin, Christ died. Christ died not only for the deeds you committed, but your identity as a sinful nature. Sin is an identity. Being in Christ is an identity. And today we want to restore the identity of humanity by calling them to repentance and having a desire to follow Jesus. There is many false repentance in religion. Many have turned away from sins but are following ba 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 Baha. They are following Buddha. They are following Krishna. They are following Mohammed. And because they are following him, they have not found their true identity in Christ. The Bible says we are seated in Christ far above principalities and powers. Any other religious personality is under the feet of those who are in Christ. And today we call all men. Jesus said, I come not to call the righteous to repentance by the sinner to repentance and today we're saying all men in London the kingdom of heaven is at hand and you must turn away from your sins the Bible says do not be deceived for the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven the, the extortioner the thief the, the, the hypocrites, the gum bangers, the drug dealers will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. The kings who are hypocrites, the rulers, prime ministers and all other ministers who are living in sin will not inherit the kingdom of heaven. I want to let you know that reading the Bible doesn't take you to heaven. I want to let you know that good works does not take you to heaven. You, don't, you didn't weren't brought on this earth to be good men. We are brought on this earth to be God men. And who are God men? God men are men that possess the life of God. If you do not have eternal life, you're not a God man by just a good man that is ready to be cast into the lake of fire. Except you be born again, you cannot enter the kingdom. 
You can be a good man and miss the kingdom. You can be a good man and not see the kingdom. There will be many who have read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And still haven't encountered Christ Jesus. Many who are born in the church and still did not encounter Jesus. They encountered religion. And religion doesn't give you sight to the throne room of God. Nor does it give you an experience with the one true God. Today we preach the eternal life of Jesus. John 17 verse 3 as I come to the end of my message. It says this. That this is life eternal. That you might know him. And you might know him. Listen you might know him. The one true God and his son whom he has sent. Many of us do not know Jesus as a son. We know him as a prophet. Knowing him as a prophet prophet is not enough to give you salvation because he didn't just come to deliver a message but Jesus whom we preach he came to fulfill the word that was spoken by the prophet Jesus is the first and the last prophet there is no other prophet that comes after Jesus he is the one that fulfills the law and the prophets and this is why we lift up the name of Jesus in him was life and the life was the light of man and today God has a business to give life to him Humanity. The thief cometh to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, I come that you might have life and life abundantly. Today we come to speak to the thief. You do not have life because the Bible says all have sinned and are falling short of the glory of God. The glory of God is the tangibility of the invisible and uncreated life of God. And many of us are void of that. And today by the power of the name of Jesus all those who are falling astray Jesus is calling on you he said I've come to save you I've come to demonstrate the love of the father that was revealed from heaven and that love is to call you to believe in his only begotten son today people of London repent repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and except you repent you will likewise perish Jesus said it right and today we're here to tell you about this gift of repentance many have used religious practices to turn away from sin but have you heard of the grace of God the gift of repentance that gives you supernatural power to turn away from your sins from the lust of sin to rebel against the law of the sin of death to break away the nature of sin the authority of sin many of us are subject to the bondage of sin because we have not moved away from religion into a place of relationship God did not send his son to give us another religion in this society today our society doesn't need another religion but it needs the savior and who is that savior his name is Jesus his name is not Baha his name is not Buddha his name is not Krishna and his name is definitely not Mohammed because Mohammed's blood could not save us from our sins but there is one that has life in whose blood is sinless all other religious figures their blood are full of sin and they need the blood of Jesus to make atonement for them today people of London it's the day of salvation and today we come not to preach a lie Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life maybe you understand truth by reading the textbook but today we preach the truth himself we want you to know the truth by a person and have a revelation with him by that the light will shine in your way and you will move from darkness to light today is the day of salvation as I come to the end of my message if you want a religious life then go and follow Buddha Krishna Muhammad you will have a religious life and that religious life won't buy you away into heaven Amen. but if you want to be with a father forever where you will dine and wine and rule with him and reign with him and have principalities under your feet i suggest that you look for jesus is there anybody here that doesn't have an eternal life insurance that is why we came to give you a life insurance we came to preach about the eternal life insurance of heaven that is able to save you there is a word in the bible that a good man leaves an inheritance for his chosen children that is why before the foundation of the world was set god said an eternal life insurance for all creation 
Amen. The blood was slain from the foundation of the earth to secure our eternity, even to secure the angels. The Bible says the angels said, we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Today, God wants you to have that same overcoming power that the angels had in eternity past. And that is found in the blood of Jesus, not Mohammed. Jesus is not a man who was black or white or yellow because his skin color they're not raising from the dead his nationality they're not raising from the dead where he was born they're not raising from the dead it was good enough to fulfill the promises of the prophecy foretold by the prophet so we know we can identify him but that doesn't give salvation salvation is found in repentance and faith in christ jesus therefore right now is there anybody who has eternal life there is the a b c d to eternal life the a you must admit your sins to jesus not to buddha not to krishna not even the pope because none of them can save you from your sins none of them are the love of god that take it away the sins of the world the b you must believe in Jesus. The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish. They will not perish. There is a physical perishing, but there is an eternal perishing which God wants to save you from. Then that comes by the power of sin. Maybe you are there right now, you are saying, Oh, my brother Andre, how come do bad things happen to good people? The Bible says, By one man, sin came into the world and death through sin. So, because one man sinned, they continue to perpetrate evil so that good things, bad things, happen to good people. Today, I come giving you the answer today if you believe in Jesus you will be saved from the persecution the pestilence the famine the earthquake of this time because we do not come from this world where surely passes by that is why we have the Bible which is basic instruction before living earth by receiving the basic instruction before living earth we're able to exercise authority on the earth which we once gave away or oh, was given to the devil today I want to let you know as you're moving in that path to eternal life you need to confess your sins that is the C the A to admit the B to believe in Jesus the C to confess your sins to Jesus no Baha, no Buddha, no Krishna no the Pope, no Hail Marys because all of them are dead in the grave including Mohammed burning and even the worms are eating them up but we have a savior his name is Jesus whose tomb is empty who is seated high in heaven making intercession for you and I pleading with the father getting the father to be long-suffering and forbearing desire that none of us will perish except we repent it is God's desire that you repent he doesn't take pleasure in the death of a sinner nor does he take pleasure in the death of homosexuals and bisexuals. Listen very well. Nor the death of a gun banger. He doesn't take pleasure in the death of politicians. But he takes pleasure in men that will turn away from their sins and come to him. He takes pleasure in them that will confess their sins. Because we will see the faithfulness and the justice of God. The deed we must decide to follow him. Jesus said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and pick up his cross. I used to be a guy who used to wear the cross and never carry the cross. I used to be that guy who wear the cross and sleep with women, who cheat on women, who would do fraud, sell drugs in the name of having a cross. I thought the cross was a talisman that would save me from my sin. Then I knew that I could be wearing the cross and not carrying it and I would wear the cross and find myself in hell. Today in the name of Jesus, I want to let you know the truth of the cross the cross is to mortify your members the cross is to crucify your flesh the cross is to break the power of sin the cross is where we find our redemption today people of London repent repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand and as I come to this scripture second Corinthians the chapter 5 the 9 and 10 it said do not be deceived because many will come in his name and do not be deceived for the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven 
it said the extortioner will not inherit the kingdom of heaven the liar will not inherit the kingdom of heaven the hypocrite will not inherit the kingdom of heaven the infamous will not inherit the kingdom of heaven the froster the drunkard all of them will not inherit the kingdom of heaven my desire is that you will turn from your sins and run to Jesus and be in him and hide in him and none of this pestilence and darkness and things that are coming our way you will be exempted Jesus said the time is coming when nation will rise against nation we're seeing Russia rising against and Ukraine we're seeing kingdom rising against another kingdom race against another race we're seeing famine we're seeing a global famine yet to come we're seeing an economical recession but thanks be to God that yeah though if you be in Christ you will walk through the valley of the shadow of death you will fear no evil it's not that there will not be no evil but when you are in Christ you receive the supernatural strength and the joy of the Lord that makes you walk through the valley of the shadow of death today is a day of repentance repent repent london repent for the kingdom of heaven is a hand as i blast the sofa i release the frequency of repentance i release the frequency of the conviction of the holy ghost that none of you will pass by and escape this time of revival in the name of jesus we declare right now that let the spirit convict you and i of righteousness sin and judgment that you will tend to the lord and receive life Therefore, as I blast the sofa, I release the sound of awakening and the sound of revival and the sound of repentance in Jesus' name.